Every year in Bangladesh, farmers spray thousands of tons of insecticide onto their rice fields. The Livelihood Improvement Through Ecology, or LIGHT project, was created to find safer and cheaper alternatives for these 11.8 million Bangladeshi farmers. <laughs> Everyone said that they thought that insecticides were a good idea until they did the experiment. And it was those first farmers who did it that actually got the other ones interested. Once people saw their neighbors not spraying and they saw that their crop was fine, then it gave them the courage to do the same thing. In this unique case, we're asking them not to learn anything new and not to do anything more than they did before. We're asking them to stop buying the chemicals and stop spraying the chemicals. The technology is very simple. Our message is to the farmers, don't spray. The number of pests, they go up after the spraying. And the number of natural enemies, they cannot cope up with the number of harmful insects. Past efforts to get farmers to reduce sprays by making arguments about the environment or their health had always failed. And the reason is that farmers, and I think poor people in general, they risk their health and their environment every day just to make a living. But if you can show someone that they're actually going to save money by not doing something, then it becomes interesting. most of the farmers were two to three months short of food. The money they saved was enough to buy that additional rice. And so with that evidence in hand, we decided that we would scale up massively. Success case replication is when you take that farmer who has proven it to himself and use him to train the other farmers. One of the farmers in particular, his speech was quite interesting. He thought that with this technique of splitting the field in half and keeping track of the input costs, he could use this for anything. So whenever something new came along, a new rice variety, a new fertilizer, he would be able to test it himself and see whether or not it was going to make him money or whether he'd lose money. So I think just having that very simple technique was probably very important for these farmers. For four dollars and twenty-six cents of expenditures, they can train one Bangladeshi farmer to stop using insecticides and he'll save seventeen dollars in the first year. That's a cost-benefit ratio of one to four. One dollar spent generates four dollars of income for those farmers. And the issue is so simple that it's easy to sell to the farmers. So if each of those rice farmers ceased using insecticides, they would save $99 million a year. And that's $99 million worth of insecticide imported into the country. And that's $99 million worth of insecticide sprayed into the fields, killing the fishes, poisoning the farmer, poisoning his wife and children. Uh, 
survive kora jay with such positive environmental and livelihood effects the next step for researchers is to find continued support to replicate this success for 49 million dollars you can save 11 million farmers 17 dollars each that's more than 200 million dollars each year isn't there a donor that wants to be involved in changing the lives of all those 11 million poor farmers and having one of the most significant environmental impacts of this century? I think there is.